Welcome to this week's Ag Update. I'm Seth Holland, Plant Nutrition Agronomist with Osmus Farm Supply. This week we will be talking about fungicide application timing. So as we get closer to fungicide spraying time, one of the hardest parts for farmers is to decide whether to or not to spray fungicide. Some of the decision factors that can help you decide to spray fungicides should be susceptible hybrids, weather conditions like right now where it's very hot and humid, disease pressure in your field, or like no-till, minimal till, and corn-on-corn -corn conditions. So some diseases you're going to want to look for in your field right now would be northern corn leaf blight, eye spot, common rust, and gray leaf spot. Another hard part is application timing. Too early and you run the risk of not seeing as much return. Too late and you also run into the same risk where your return goes down. So optimal timing with fungicide on corn is anywhere from VT to R2. Another time that's coming up now is fungicide application on soybeans. Soybeans are a little bit different where we're not trying to control disease pressure on soybeans, where it's more we're trying to work on plant health and respiration. Optimal timing on soybeans for fungicide application is at R3. R3 is when there is a pod 3 16 of an inch long on the upper foremost nose of the bean plant. So another use for fungicide is after hail which lately we have been having a lot of hail in the area and a lot of strong storms. It's important to go out, scout your fields for hail damage, and if there is hail damage, you're also going to want to look for uh, disease pressure in the field. If there is disease pressure, wait at least seven days for your first ap fungicide application. If you have any questions or concerns about fungicide or fungicide application, please feel free to contact your local AFS sales agronomist Thank you for watching this week's Egg Update.